What is going on, guys? FudgyMaddenStudents.com, and I have found my best offense of the year, and I'm here to share with you guys. If ran correctly, it should be able to be any blitz, any zone, any man. It is just a phenomenal concept. Um, it's sort of complicated, so I suggest you watch um, all the way through this video as I get to some stuff at the end that's pretty important. And uh, yeah, I'll just get right into it. So what you need to do to make this work is come out in in uh, ace wide trips. I used to play wide trail, and you have to make the following pre-snap reads. You have to see who's in the seams. You have to locate the safeties and where they are on the field. And finally, you have to count how many players are in the box. Um, so yeah, and, and uh, every single play, every single time you run this... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> um, every single time you run this... You will be motioning someone over. I prefer to motion the far man. And right here you can see it's a man, but the linebackers are not up in the box. They're they're sort of a they're a couple of yards back. So in this case I'll actually drag my running back. Um, since I know one of them will have to cover more ground that way. Um, and the reason why I use slant routes um, is because they provide a nice hot read. And I'll get into that later in the video. But as you can see here, nobody follows the motion man over. That way I know it's zone, and I set up this route combination, which is, is proven to be deadly. You want to streak your tight end, streak your your motion man. You want to smart route and in your far left wide receiver, and then drag the other wide receiver. Um, that way you have two deep threats um, that will work against the cover three, since the safety will have to choose, and the cover two, because the there will be less coverage in the middle in that case. And then also you have the, the smart routed in in case the linebackers move up to cover the, the underneath drag route. <clears throat> so it's actually just a really deadly combo against zone. Very difficult to defend all four of these routes. And as you can see, um, the, the safety has to choose one. And whichever one the safety doesn't choose, that's the one I'll be throwing to. As you can see, this one is man. So I slam him to get my hot read, and as you can see, the linebackers are are still um, they're a couple yards back. So I believe I'll drag my running back here, and again they have to make up more ground since they're a couple yards back, and I get a nice little gain by just giving him a nice little nice little toss from the backfield. Um, and again, you just gotta motion your man. Here I see it's man again. And I noticed that in the left seam, since I'm since I'm making those pre-snap reads, I know someone's been in there the whole time, so I'm assuming he's blitzing, and sure enough, he is. And I go to my hot read, which is the slant. And again, I'll explain that a little later. And I'm just going to keep running, to you, running this to show you how it works every single play. Here I see it's zone, so I set up my route combination, drag or block my running back, and sure enough, I get my man wide open, but of course, being quarterbacks, or quarterbacks being terrible in this game, he overthrows him. And again, I see zone, so I'm going to set up my same route combination. And let's see. Immediately, I notice that the, the, the seam opens up, and I'm, or I'm able to hit my wide receiver for an easy gain. Right here, again, I see it's zone, and again, I'm going to set up the same route combination. Oh, no, I'm not. Um, I notice that the right seam is is open, making my pre-snap reads. I notice the right seam is open, and I streak that wide receiver. And as you can see, um, no one can make up that ground in time, and it's an easy gain for me. Right here, we have zone again, and I'm going to set up the same old route combination. And as you can see... Um, I, I wait on it, but unfortunately I can't get the ball off. I think I show a replay here. Um, just to show you if I was able to get the ball off, how open he'd be. As you can see, when I change the camera view a little bit, the linebackers are up protecting that drag route, and it opens up that nice little nice little seam in the zones to, to hit the, the deep in route. So again, I'll show you one more time before I get into the hot reads. As you can see, um, I set up the same combination, and since I see the left seam, there's another man up at the line. Um, I think he's blitzing, so I've thrown a slant. I didn't hit it, but I think you get the point, and 
Right here, I'm going to show you how to do the hot reads, uh, or hot reads, as I mentioned before. Um, you want to come out the same play, do the same thing. I just chose some random man blitzes. And as you can see, I slant my two wide receivers, the one that I motioned and the one that, I, that stays on the right side. And then I streak the tight end and the far wide receiver. As you can see, what this does is it allows me to beat man even in, in case pressure doesn't get there in case I make the wrong pre-snap read um, you can wait on those on those slam routes especially with fast wide receivers they'll beat man but as you can see what I use this for is having these two slam routes I can just read which side right as I snap it which side the blitz is gonna come from and whichever side the blitz comes from I'll quickly throw the slant to that side and it's just money as you can see um, and again, the pressure doesn't get in, so I'll just wait on it and hit my man for an easy gain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come check out madstudents.com for more. Um, if you're a little confused on the reads, we have a Reading Coverage 101 ebook. And so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.